welcome to Movie Mayhem here at the Spirit Works Cinema, where we watch all the movies. Today we got another uh, John Carpenter entry. This is Memoirs of the Invisible Man. Um, you see, this is a Japanese Blu-ray. Uh, this, it's a, the transfer is actually not bad. Pretty good. Uh, it's got some cool extras. Um, it, it, the English is stereo. Um, it's stereo only, and I believe lossy. So, eh. but again, it's Invisible Man on Blu-ray. You're not gonna find it a lot. This was not. This movie didn't do very well. Um, you'll notice it does not say John Carpenter's. This is the only movie that doesn't say that. Uh, this was a vanity project from Chevy Chase after, um, I forgot what movie he agreed to do, but he got in his contract eventually, essentially he could have a movie made however he wanted. He wanted to do this Invisible Man movie, a serious drama, and he wanted Carpenter to direct. Carpenter agreed. Why wouldn't you, right? Sounds like a good get. Um, I, I know Carpenter has some problems with this movie, but I want to backtrack and say the effects are really amazing, especially, I, I mean, especially the time period. Got to remember when this was made. So the effects are, they're groundbreaking. They look fantastic. Um, honestly, Chevy Chase does a good job. He's a, He does a very good job as a solid actor. Again, under, this is under Carpenter too. I, you know, you've got uh, Sam Neill is the uh, bad guy, effectively. Um, this doesn't have the poignancy of most Carpenter films, and I'm sure that's what Carpenter's problem is with it. It doesn't have the... It doesn't have quite the impact. I see he kind of still pulls it out of uh, out of the script. Um, this was not... Again, this wasn't written by Carpenter either, so it, Carpenter writes almost all of his stuff. So I, I, can see, I can see where he'd have some issues going back on this. I still find this a very good film. It, it's very entertaining to watch. Um, I, I like his progression, uh, you know, how, how he's working with it. Yeah, I mean, is Chevy the best actor for this? No, I, I, have, to, I have to concede that. But he does a good job of, of doing the different things. And there's little comedic elements here and there, and I, I think that was probably some studio pressure because you have Chevy Chase, we don't want a dead serious movie. And it did bomb at the box office, although I did see it the week it was out. So, I'm proud of that. Uh, it, you know... I've never been a big uh, Daryl Hannah fan, but she works very good in this, actually, as, as a um, dramatic love interest. She's quite solid. Uh, I, I, I think this is more of a... Um, and one thing interesting about following a director is you watch some other films you might miss or might not catch, but when you have a director as powerful as Carpenter, you still see all of his stuff in this movie. So that that's kind of neat to watch. Um, I, this is one of Carpenter's weaker films, um, but I'm still going to give it a nice seven. I enjoy the film. I We rewatched it not too long ago, and still really entertaining. I, it was like, huh, movie doesn't deserve a bad rap at all. It's more fun than most of the garbage that comes out every week at the video store lately. Um, but check it out if you haven't seen it. Um, I, I, it's on DVD in the States uh, and Blu-ray. This is, this is a better picture, but again, unless you're a collector, I doubt you're going to buy a Japanese Blu-ray. Uh... And I, it might, it was, I think it might have come out in Germany too, uh, but I'm not sure on the audio options there. Uh, this does have some nice, nice feature read on the effects, which was really fun to watch. Um, it was in English. I think it was, ta it, it looks like it was taken from the laser disc, because I swear that was on the laser disc. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on, on the bonus. But the picture is nice. It's not bad. It's not like a complete restoration, but it definitely looks like it was an HD source. Um, so there you have it. That's Memoirs of an Invisible Man, and we'll see you here next time at Movie Mayhem.